Humans have known about the pain-relieving properties of opium since about 3000 BC, but how did we get from useful painkillers to the epidemic plague that, according to the Centers for Disease Control, killed 75,000 in 2022 alone? Well, it's complicated. Opium was being used by doctors to treat patients as early as 300 BC, but it wasn't until the 19th century that its medicinal use really took off. In 1810, Dr. Friedrich Surturner extracts morphine from the opium plant. It quickly becomes popular with doctors for its effective use during operations and to treat symptoms of cholera and consumption. But it could be very addictive. In 1895, scientists at the Bayer Company developed heroin, a synthesized form of morphine, which claimed to be a non-addictive morphine substitute with fewer side effects. This proves to be untrue, and heroin addiction grows rapidly. In the years that followed, the medical community is undecided on the proper treatment of pain and other ailments. Though many more opioids are developed and distributed over the next few decades, doctors are still cautious of prescribing these highly addictive drugs to patients. But in 1980, all that changes. That year, the New England Journal of Medicine publishes a letter to the editor written by Dr. Herschel Jick concerning a study on narcotics. The letter states that the development of addiction is rare in medical patients with no history of addiction. Although this was in reference to a small sample of patients in controlled environments, pharmaceutical companies started citing the letter evidence to support the distribution of their pain relievers. Along with these big pushes from pharmaceutical companies, there is an increased acknowledgement in the medical community that patients with chronic pain have been undertreated for years. Doctors soon start to use prescription painkillers more and more to treat their suffering patients, and one of the biggest distributors of these pain medications is Purdue Pharma. Purdue makes drugs like fentanyl and codeine, but is most known for the controversial OxyContin. First released in 1996, OxyContin was touted as having lower abuse potential compared to other commonly prescribed opioids. Turns out there was no scientific evidence to support this claim, and widespread abuse of OxyContin soon starts throughout the U.S. By 1999, an estimated 4 million Americans are abusing opioids, and by 2002 that number rises to 6.2 million. So where are we now? It's reported that opioids now cause more deaths than any other drug, with more than 100 Americans dying every day from an opioid overdose. Though policies have been put into place to reduce the number of opioids being prescribed by doctors, the opioid epidemic continues to plague all corners of America.